aerostat is essentially a blimp on a string. It's tethered to the ground, and on those tethers, there's fiber optic cables that allow data to go to a control center. So this system has two aerostats. So it'll look like two big white blimps floating above I-95, and it's going to be two miles in the air, and we'll be able to see as far south uh, as North Carolina, as far north as Boston, and as far west as out to Lake Erie. The radar systems that are going to be on these aerostats are very powerful. They can pick up incoming threats at a great distance. Including ground targets, sea-skimming anti-ship cruise missiles, unmanned aircraft, and surface moving targets like swarming boats. So the Army has said that the function of these aerostats is for missile defense and secondarily for tracking you know, threats on waterways uh, along the East Coast. However, it's also true that Raytheon, the defense contractor that made these aerostats, has tested them with some very powerful sensor cameras that can see individual vehicles and in some cases people for tens, maybe even dozens of miles. Lots of people who served overseas in Iraq or Afghanistan would have seen these kinds of aerostats over, over American bases there. Video surveillance capabilities that are mounted on these aerostats were used to track the movements of insurgents. They sometimes were used to help target Hellfire missiles that were fired from drones. In fact, when Sergeant Robert Bales slaughtered uh, Afghan civilians outside of Kandahar, as he was walking back to his base, a camera mounted on one of these aerostats caught his journey back where he's, where he's wearing a shawl and carrying a rifle as he comes back and surrenders to, his, to the other soldiers at his base. Sergeant Bale stops running um, once he realizes that his friends have their weapons pointed at him or telling him to stop and drop his weapons to put them on the ground. Though there's no acknowledged plan now to ever do that kind of test over Aberdeen, the fact that Raytheon has already tested this capability has caught the attention of some privacy advocates.